This is Susan Bush for SGTV. Nell Brooker Mayhew, Delicate Resilience, is the newest exhibition for the artist at Sullivan Goss. The majority of the works on view are over 100 years old, with many being shown in this gallery for the first time. Nell was born in Astoria, Illinois in 1875, finding her way to California in 1908 after attending the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, Northwestern University, and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where she completed her graduate work. In Los Angeles, she joined an active artist's world, showing and creating works alongside such prominent male artists as William Wendt, Edgar Payne, and Handsome Potuff, among others. Nell's creativity led her into printmaking, and her particular process and style won her some acclaim amongst the artists of the day. To begin the process, Nell would deftly etch the main lines of her subject onto a waxed copper plate. She would then run the plate through the press, imprinting an initial outline onto paper. Using the same plate, she would paint directly upon it and then run it through the press again, adding color to the previously printed outline. While the composition remains the same, each color application evokes a new mood or feeling to the piece. Rather than exact reproductions of the same image, each piece is unique, a true painting on paper. The translucency of color within the lines is less about showing an exactly replicated image and more about the impression of a place, the suggestion of memory, of something beautiful and dreamlike. Her sister Adelaide would assist Nell in her artwork by hand making the paper for her prints. Some of the paper is as light as gossamer. It must have been like printing on a butterfly wing. Once framed, the paper seemingly floats beneath the glass. The delicacy of the paper is juxtaposed with the strong outlines of nature in each composition. Nature was a primary element, present in almost every one of Nell's artworks. For Nell, nature was the fountainhead of beauty and a spiritual resource. That so many of Nell's prints have survived for more than a century is astounding. I have held these light-as-air prints in my own hands and wondered at their ability to sustain their original color as well as remain intact for so many years, a strong testament to handmade products. Nell produced oil paintings on canvas as well that showcased her talent with color and technique. The very personal expression that shows up in her works on paper is visible in the oils as well. In this painting, Sycamores in a Mountain Landscape, the hand of Nell is evident in the brush strokes and her enduring love of the natural world, trees in particular. A petite woman standing at just about five feet tall, Nell was a resilient woman. She survived the passing of a beloved husband and a divorce that left her the single mother of two children to care for during the Great Depression. Through all of her life's challenges, she made art taking her cue from the trees around her that stood tall, even after being subjected to what Mother Nature brought their way. I like to think of the petite Nell looking up into a grove of giant eucalyptus trees, dappled sunlight on her face, drawing personal strength from nature's endurance and applying that experience to her paintings, as well as her life. Make fine art a part of your life. Nell Brooker Mayhew, Delicate Resilience, will be on display through November 27, 2011.